Yo, what's cracking, my Zigafied fam? We back with a new video, and today I'm gonna show you something extremely simple. It's probably not an interesting video, but I'm gonna show you how to slow and reverb songs. And you might be thinking, bro, that's so simple, there is no way to screw it up. And actually, yes, there is one crucial mistake that I constantly hear that kind of ruins the vibe. Let's get into it. Oh, first, I'm gonna preview the beat that I made. So obviously the first step is putting your beat on the timeline or playlist, whatever the heck it's actually called. Obviously you could just drag it on, but if you have Fruity Edition, you'll know that you can't just drag it on. So I'm going to show you how to do that. There is actually a workaround. I'm sure a lot of you already know this. Okay, so if you have Fruity Edition, you're going to want to go in a pattern and then click the first box in this pattern with your sample and put your pattern in the playlist. Also make sure that the volume is up to 100% because by default it's not. You got to turn this knob all the way up and then you could run out your pattern on the playlist make sure you have the leave remainder on and there you go and after this you can still turn it up a little bit i'm not sure how much that's why this is not the desired method obviously okay now we are finally going to get on to it so obviously the first part of it is slowing it and this is actually extremely easy you do not even have to set the bpm of your sample you could leave it on 140 it doesn't matter so you're going to double click it you see this box that says resample click stretch and now click resample again. I'm sure there's another way to do this, but this is just a way that it gets it to work. Now what you could do is lower the BPM and it'll automatically stretch and down pitch the sample. And now basically you just wanna find a slowness that you like, there's really no right answer. I kind of mess with that, so I'm going to go with that. So obviously slowing it down is the trivial part, I guess, easy part. So now you're going to go click on track to send it to the mixer, obviously. And here I'm going to turn it down slightly because you need to give it headroom. You need to understand, like, songs are mastered to 0 dBFS. And if you don't know what that means, go on Google, look it up. I might put a thing on the screen. It's, there's already no headroom left, so there's no headroom to add reverb without like it limiting. So I kind of like turn down the thing for some headroom and also put a limiter on the master just in case like it still clips, it'll limit instead because I don't think clipping is desirable for reverb. So yeah, I gave it one dB headroom, that might be enough. That's not the crucial mistake though that people make. That's, that's kind of negligible, but it's still important. So now that we're on the mixer track, we could add reverb. You could use any reverb you want, but I'm gonna use Fruity Reverb too because this default and obviously for video sake that is cool so i'm going to explain a few of these parameters before we even get into changing any of them so obviously there's this diagram here that you could adjust the size and the diff i don't remember what that means diffusion dude you could adjust the diffusion you can make it look like cheese hamburger or it's just basically adjusting the room and obviously reverb is modeled after like what a room is so that's how you get that so this basically controls these two parameters here speed that's not really that important, honestly. These ones over here are important, the high and low cuts. This basically controls the frequencies that are in the reverb. Decay is also another important one. It's just basically how long does the reverb signal last after it happens. And over here is a really important knob, but this is the wetness. It controls how much of the reverb signal is being mixed in with the actual signal. So the dry is always at 100%, obviously the high cut you could turn this up a little bit you'll just have to use your ears to figure out how much high frequency you actually want but this one's actually important the low cut you're gonna want to take this up to like 300 because if you add reverb to low frequencies it just sounds booty cheeks for lack of a better term and it'll just completely ruin the vibe i'm sure you've heard this before and other than this knob i think the only other knob i would actually want to change in here is the decay i'm gonna turn it up a little bit that's what i like more and i'm gonna play the song and play around with the wetness So as you can tell, 
there is reverb but it is still not that muddy because we did the low cut and took out the low frequencies and also the high cut is actually decent where it starts out at i didn't need to change that because it kind of sounds bad when there's too much high frequencies hitting off of each other but anyway these are settings i like and obviously you heard it sounds pretty good and at the end of the video i'll just play more of the beat with the slow reverb just so you guys understand but that is basically it like i said extremely simple just this one crucial mistake of not turning up the low cut because dude low frequencies sound booty cheeks and it's probably the biggest mistake among the slowed and reverb community on youtube <laughs> okay but thanks for watching